Stripe has launched Stripe Checkout, which is a pre-built payment page optimized to drive conversions. Simply send your traffic to a standalone payment page or embed the Stripe Checkout directly on your website. Now, today my focus is to show you how you can set this up completely for free so you can start selling and capturing one-time or reoccurring payments from your customers. Okay, so just quickly before you go ahead and launch into Stripe, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and set up Stripe checkout payment pages. Okay, so to get started with this Stripe checkout feature so that you can start collecting payments on your website through different channels and tools, simply head over to stripe.com and create an account or sign in. Stripe is completely free to get started and you only pay a small fee per transaction. Okay, so once you've arrived inside your Stripe account, what we want to do is navigate over to the left hand side and click on more and then navigate down to product catalog. The first thing that we want to do is add our first product before we add that product to our Stripe checkout for our customers to make that purchase. Navigate over to add a product, simply add the name of your product, then add your product description, then come down and add a product image. Here's the image that I want to use. Then come down and choose a pricing structure. Is this a reoccurring payment or a one-off payment? Now, because this is a digital product, it's our Go Digital Now ebook, this is just a one-off payment. However, if you like, you can set up reoccurring payments. This is if you sell a software or an online course, or maybe some form of reoccurring consulting. Again, depending on your product type, you can select reoccurring or one-off. Then come down and add your product price. If we click on more pricing options, you can choose your pricing model, for example, flat rate, package pricing, or customer chooses price. Package price is if you want to allow the customer to bundle products, and then customer chooses price is if you want the customer to set their own price that they wanna pay for your product. I'm going to keep flat rate selected, and you can see a quick preview over on the right hand side. Okay, so I'm happy with this product, I'm going to come down and add product. And just like that, you can see we have our first product. Now you also have the option to add coupon codes, discounts. You can also add shipping rates if you sell a physical product, and then you have tax rates and pricing tables. However, what we wanna do now, since we've added our first product, is to create a checkout page. To do that, simply navigate up to payments, and then navigate down to create a payment link. And this is where we can create a checkout page, a payment link. Simply come down to select type, and choose products or subscriptions, or allow customers to pay what they want. For us, because I'm selling a digital product, I'm going to select this option here. Then navigate down to product. Here we can choose to add a new product or choose an existing product. I'm gonna add the product that I created earlier. Then if we navigate down here, you can also add an additional product if you like. If we click on add product, we can come down and we can add a new product and quickly add the new product in here and then add this product to this specific checkout. I'm going to cancel this for now because I just wanna create this landing page, this checkout page for one product. If we navigate down to options and depending on the nature of your business or the product that you're selling, you can collect customers' addresses. I don't need this because this is a digital product. Do I need to capture the customer's phone number? No, or limit the number of payments. I'm going to leave these options. Under advanced options, I can add a custom field. This might be if you're selling a custom product of some kind. You can also allow for promotion codes. I'm going to add this because remember under coupons that I showed you earlier, you can create promotion codes. I want to allow business customers to provide tax IDs because this product is tailored to small business owners. So this is going to be relevant for my customers. And then I can save payment details for future use. Down here, we can add a call to action, pay, book, or donate. I'm going to leave pay as the call to action. Then what we wanna do is navigate back up and click on after payment. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just wanna mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video.
down here we want to customize the confirmation page or the information that the customer sees once they've made the payment and they've purchased our product. We can choose to show the confirmation page and then down here we can replace the default with a custom message. Here we have the default. If we click on replace default, I could then add details about how my customers can get their hands on this ebook. Or I can navigate down to don't show confirmation page and redirect customers to your website. And this could be a specific page where that customer can now download my ebook. Again, this is where you'd have to build a custom landing page. Or for example, maybe this customer can download the ebook on my Google Drive. So all I would do is add the link that would take them to my Google Drive folder where they can download this ebook. I'm just going to add my website in here for now. And then down here, we have this option to add a post payment invoice. And you can see the fees down here. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to navigate up to create link. Now you want to make sure that you've added the correct payment methods. Have you enabled Google Pay, Apple Pay and card? You can manage all your customers payment methods over here. Now what you can do is navigate up here and you can copy this link and you can share it across your different platforms. You can also add it to buttons on your website. For example, if you have a buy now button on your website, you can add this link. And when a potential customer clicks on that button, that's gonna take them to this checkout page, this payment page. We can also click on this drop down, and we can add URL parameters. We can also create a QR code and you can download this image and you can embed it on your website if you like, or you can take this QR code and you can create your own content with it. You can create content using Canva. I'm going to close this and then we have a buy button and this is the code that you can copy and embed on your website. You can also make small configurations, changes to the way that the design will display on your website. For example, it could just be a button, a card. You can also change the button text if you like, or change the styling. And again, you can embed this on your website by copying this code over here. Let's cancel out of this and then navigate over to these three dots. And we have these basic options over here. We can also deactivate this listing if we like. You can manage your payments and analytics over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is click on buy button and I'm going to copy this code and show you what this looks like on our website. For example, here I am inside a free Google Sites website. What I can do is navigate over to the right hand side and click on embed and then navigate over to embed code and then paste in the code in here. Remember, this is the payment button. Then click on next and just like that, this is what the code will look like. I can come down and click on insert. I'm going to move in the side. I'm happy with that and then I can drag this and place it where I like. So I'm happy with this. Now let's preview what this looks like. If I navigate down this website page, you can see the button here, buy. And remember you could have multiple of these payment pages next to each other with different products. This is just a quick example. And you can see we have test mode on. That's because this is just a test account. Now, if I click on buy, that's gonna take the potential customer here. They can add the promotion code and then add their payment details and then click on pay and purchase this product. Then it's going to redirect them to my website page, a landing page where they can download this digital product. As you can see, it's as simple as that to leverage checkout pages using Stripe to capture payments from your potential customers on your website or across other channels without using a expensive e-commerce platform or website. Stripe allows you to do this for free, no monthly subscription, you only pay per transaction, a small fee per transaction. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Stripe tutorial, helping you set up a checkout page. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial or about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.